Mm-hmm. Everyone, welcome back to another lit episode of Loquatia. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl, Moody. And it's Friday. Yeah, boy. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What are y'all plans for the weekend? I hope everybody had a good week. And it's Friday, so now it's time to unwind. It's 5 p.m. somewhere here and somewhere else in the world. <laughs> and it's happy hour, so make sure you guys are unwinding and having a great day. Oh, that's what you're drinking on your, oh, your happy hour? <laughs> this is how I'm getting started because you know you got to balance out the alcohol. Don't play, Moody. You know nah, that. Shout out to my daughter. Birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday, Zum. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be blurting out. <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday, under Mama. Age. We under love age, you. So. We go turn Thank up. Thank you. Thank you. So, Moody. Yes. Hi, Dollface. How was your week? It was good? Yeah, long work week, but you know, I made it. We made it. I made it. So I have Mama, a question. We made it. I have a question. This is our girl girl chat um um topic. So we talking about lingerie, right? Men versus women. <laughs> what do you think about that? What, what's your thoughts on lingerie? Period. I think lingerie is a. Uh, necessity in a relationship i think that it should go both ways because y'all men feel like y'all ain't gotta do nothing and we gotta have this little ass thong between our booty cheeks all day and y'all don't do nothing like give us a tassel on the pp or something what like give us something yeah they don't be doing nothing nelly i I feel like it's just lighting up the day and it's I'm not with you. funny. I'm with you. I feel like lingerie could be could I don't necessarily think it's a necessity because some some men state that they don't, or claim they don't like lingerie. And I so, think it's like that. except me now. Mm, for me, a man's thing? lingerie is a little bit of baby oil on that chest if you got good body, yadi. Uh, and it's some tight drawers. <laughs> you ain't got it. It's just like, you ain't really got a weird, I mean, because the strippers wear that little thing with the tassels hanging off on the, on the Give me that. One day, one day, give me one of those. Or give me... Hey, you know um, they're not going to do that. Some suspenders, some uh, tight yeah, drawers. See, now you can role play outfits. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's all a part of like the lingerie. Right. Because no, I was be coming with like the thing and your tits are out like yeah it just be like jewel jewel and then yeah it's like the panties got a big hole in the crop i'll be like yeah oh. you said which way do we go which way? right so i don't know i don't, I don't think it's a necessity though because some, some guys be coming like, in with the old ass boxers just ready nah man put some right in. and it's it ain't mad loose because you're dingling always hanging out i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> take them loose drawers up but <laughs> I want I want to see some some excitement. I think it just it probably a brighten up people's days. Like, and then when you sit back and reminisce, like, yo, you remember that crazy day you had that such and such remember on? Yeah, I came in here dressed like a cowboy. Ah. So the role playing for the guys for me is a thing, but the girls, I guess we should probably the women should probably wear it. You know, every here and there. I'm not saying every not night. all the time. But like, I'm definitely saying like once in a while. Guys get turned on by them old ass, big ass drawers that we were just talking about. Oh, <laughs> the joints that come the, up right up under the, the church bra. nightgowns and the church nightgowns. The that's maternity me. night, the maternity I, I, nightgowns. I'm being dead honest right now. I don't have one piece of lingerie in my apartment. Not yeah, one. A week, a week. Now you know, I just celebrated a little anniversary, so you know, I had to c- come out nice and clean. You know. Yeah, not me. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing but white beaters and um and um and and big grandma drawers. And I be making nah. that. I try to walk cute, so you know. Ah, make it jiggle, <laughs> make it jiggle. I ain't got all of that. I'm too too tough. <laughs> that's the like, most. That's the most I can do. But I, I think that it should be. Like that? I think it should go both ways, though. If you ask no, me. I do. I do. And it's fun. If y'all haven't tried it, try it. I bet you y'all just be laughing through it all, but 
I bet you get the job done. <laughs> that shit uh, gonna get done with or without the lingerie. With or without it, so it, it's they use their it vivid imaginations. <laughs> oh my god! Speaking of, yeah. speaking of holy drawers, our topic today is allowing someone. And when I say someone, I mean family, friend, family member, sibling, parent, and or other to come stay with you and your spouse. How do you, you, tell, you tell me, that? you tell me, you tell me first. I want to tell you, but. Tell so me when I think of people coming to live with me, I get Ebony and Diamond vibes. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> and so the answer for me is no. Um, no one is coming to live at our house. I'm, you know, I am compassionate. I do have a heart. In any event, I will help you find somewhere else to live, maybe with another person. But I don't want anybody in my space. One, I'm, I have OCD. Two, I have Ebony Diamond vibes. Every time I think of somebody staying in my crib, especially if it's a woman. Um, three... My house is not the intake shelter, you know, it's not, you know, yeah, nah. Um, I, I want you to not, you don't have me as an option. I, I don't want you to come here. I don't want anybody here. I want to come home, take off all my clothes, walk around how I like to walk around. I like my stuff a certain way. I like to be clean. I don't, I don't like noise. So I have so many different um, rules that I follow that if someone would come in, they wouldn't adhere to it. And then it would make it would make us clash. And we might not even be family or friends anymore once the 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 the, the length of stay is up. So I just would say nah, I don't want anyone coming to live in my house. And I might make my mate uncomfortable or my spouse uncomfortable because they too want to do those things as well. They want to come in, take their so walk around they drug. You can't do that now. You got to be all extra proper because somebody's here. It's not ideal, so I would say nah. What's up, Melo? I, I mean that you <laughs> you hit it on a noggin because you know younger me was like yeah okay you know so giving so you know trusting and you know just never had a care in the world. You need a place to stay. I'm here for you. I was here now. <laughs> Fast forward a few years now. I just learned that I like my own space. I don't like to, I don't like nobody that don't live here in my crib. Period. Period. Like, what is wrong with that? You know, prior now, to us having wrong, our if chats. You need me, if you need me, I'm going to have to pray on it real hard. Like, what's the real reason why you out here? Like, am I being a safe haven or, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. But at this moment in my life, I can't have nobody living with me. So, Moody. Nobody. My spouse and I, we talk about the topics prior to. I always want to see, you know, what he thinks or whatever. So, he's like, oh, what if there is an emergency? What if you want somebody to do that for you? I was like, yeah, no. Because I don't care if it's an emergency. You just can't stay here. Now, emergency is like, all right, you spent the night. Not you coming to live with me. No, an emergency is your house burnt down. And then I think that the Red Cross give you somewhere to stay. So cool yeah, down. We, I'm knocking on your door. I don't give a shit what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about Red Cross. I wish I motherfucker. Kids, tell Auntie now move over. <laughs> Yo, it's just like, imagine going from your own comfortability. No, it's very, very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. It ain't no matter who friend it is, who family member it is, who, it, it doesn't matter. It's just uncomfortable. Because remember just, like, when Diamond punched Ebony in the face when she came out that bathroom? Yo, I'm weak. But she was doing a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> we are, now, and that and that's another thing. You open up your house to, to, to them evil spirits, child. Evil spirits, yeah. You don't know people's intentions. And then it's sometimes it's hard to get people out. Like they start, yeah, they, get, they become a mail. squatter after thirty days. Yeah, they start putting mail in your name and and yeah, and they name at your house. Nah, nah. I'm lucky enough to never have to go through that. But excuse me, it was a mosquito over there. <laughs> you want to be outside? Because I'm outside. 
<laughs> but yeah, no. So I, I listen. What what I will say though is that I will assist you. Like I will go hard. I will be filling out applications with you. Um, bring you to the shelter. I got a I got a car now. I could drop you off at the shelter. Yeah, you try to bring me to the shelter. Or at your happens. other best friend house. Well, don't tie is gonna be um slice. You try nah. to bring me to the shelter. Now you, you know what? Me it? as an adult, especially my family, I want I can't see myself packing my family up to move in, into somebody else's space either. It's just that you gotta thug it out. You gotta go to a shelter, you gotta go to a hotel. You got to go somewhere. Because even you, here. the person that is staying with the people, you're uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. You're not comfortable. This is not they, your crib. You got to be People tell your kids show. what to do. They, every time you walk show, around. You yeah. scared to eat stuff. You you scared to drop something. If you in my house, yo, I'm walking behind you like a straight psychopath. Like, yo, you drop a piece of hair. Like, that one, that type of something. That's why it's like, don't even, you don't want to live here. You then you don't want to you don't want to take money because then they be like, hey, I was paying your rent. No, you wasn't. Right. They <laughs> love to know. say that shit. Oh, I paid your rent. Now you didn't pay anything. You <laughs> paid, you gave me $25 to my two thousand dollar rent. You didn't pay nothing. Yeah, we it's just yeah. uncomfortable. Younger me has done it, but you know, now I'm older, kids older, established a little. Uh uh-uh. uh, it's not fair to them to have to share their space. We walk around as is, like Adam and Eve God walking in us. us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Could you imagine every day coming home have to be fully dressed and, oh, excuse me, right. run out the shower, like, oh, excuse and me. And you got to get dressed in the bathroom. Imagine that. Ugh. Nah, I ain't never doing it. You going to see this ass. <laughs> straight up, the, straight up I'm ass. The, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Nah, but uh, uh, I do agree with someone parent elderly uh coming to stay with you if you need like help or they need help i do agree with that I, you know why i don't want nobody parents are getting older your parents are getting older and it might be a time in the no, place there's a nursing home on every block I'm not, nah you don't you please so you could be in jail for beating up if all push the came to days and nurses that's in there. I'm just no. saying, if no. push came to shove, there is nursing homes on all the blocks. And you ain't putting nobody there. Possibly. You don't keep you, getting on my nerves, you're going. That's what you're going to keep saying every time they get on your nerves. No, but you know <laughs> And then you're going to be at my um, door with your bags. I don't know. Bags. Like, a parent, you would have to be at your wit's end because when parents are in your house, they in your business. That's true. And they feel like they could be in your business because they're your parents. See, a person like a sibling, they probably won't be that much in your business. Not to say they wouldn't be in it, but they wouldn't be as involved as your parents. They, they parents, sure telling your business, though. They're, they're telling your business. But parents think that they could come in, be in your, like, tell you how to run your household, how to raise your kids. Yeah, no. So if it's no. my mom, then it's go different. Go in there, some dishes, miss, please. Excuse me. Right, or do something. That's why you're going no, to nursing home. You're going to come here telling me what to do. I guess it's all on the report of what you have with the, the parent, too. Like, if I if I have a good report with my parent and they came to live with me, so, oh, of course, it's going to be like, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this, you're doing that. I say, can you hear? I say no to my mama. See me? Yes. I okay. Nah. I say, no. I say no to it all. Only person I get to live here is a nanny, and my kids are big, so I don't even need it no more. Yeah, I will weep. Um. I'm going to just have to pray on every situation, but I'm pretty sure and nobody want to live with me. And guests from hell. Nobody want to live with me. <laughs> nobody want to come live with me, so and, and, I'm and okay they should, with that. And a grown, a grown person with some standards and morals and something and something going for themselves shouldn't want to live with nobody anyway. I would like to, like, I would put you in a place next door to me or something so I could keep an eye on you if you was, like, sick or... 
Like, you know, like, like you know I what? Now that I house. think about it, if I lived in a, a big ass house with a basement or something, yeah, and my basement, you know, was its own entrance and all of those Apartment, things, I might, like, yeah, I might consider it. But like, for yeah, my, like something like that. Yes. For my apartment, I'm not doing that. Nah. Apartments are not big enough for a bunch of people. Like, because then you got, now you're trying to have company. You know how much money you will save if everybody live with you, say? You can buy a mansion. That's a big <laughs> you know, the, a, a lot of A lot of people do it. A lot of families do it. But then when you, and then when I've seen, I've witnessed when you let, let someone live with you now, other niggas, motherfuckers live with you too because they live there and now they got people that's there that's you like such and such ain't going home yeah they think it's a trap house for real yeah, nah so it is a lot that come we with it come, so you definitely you gotta you gotta room in yeah I'm chilling like nah no you're not no you're not I'm telling you straight like but, this you know it could be fun too like if like when you have a big family and y'all really get along, family oriented, you know, everything is a big part of right. I think that you still get tired of family, even if you are the if y'all are the best of friends, you still get tired. You're my best friend, Moody. I don't want to live with you, sis. Not at all. It, like yo, me and you would never we probably wouldn't be friends after it. That's what you I said. I said, I said, after living with somebody, you either not gonna be friends no more or no, you ain't gonna be family no more. So like that's why I wouldn't even set myself up. I, I like know. to be just like I cannot. Yo, every time I put a, a cup, a I'm cup behind down you with the, you move it. with the thing wiping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's why, and that's why it's better for everybody to just you know. Yeah, I would be like yo. Leave me alone, miss. Leave me alone. And it's so annoying. I'm cleaning up while you sleep. I'm cleaning up while you eat. Like, I just, yeah. I, my, my. You can't my, even drink. You can't even think, right? And my, and my mental, my nah. anxiety from my OCD would take over. And then I don't want people to be nah. mad at me because it's just something that's in me. So it's like, damn, it's not even you. It's me. You're not even doing nothing wrong when you put the cup down. But here I go, lifting your cup up right. and wiping up underneath the cup. Changing the coaster. Changing right. the coaster. Like, and changing your clothes as this. you sit down. Bathing you <laughs> and shit. Like, nah. Yo, just, I can't. No, but like, it, you know what? I If you don't need it, if you really, if there's no way, no, if you found somebody you can live, live with, that, that works. But especially if they like a single person, but some moving in with somebody and they significant other, if you dead need it, then be my guest. But try to try to make a way. Yeah, because the hotels they accept people at all times of day. You you can always get a room. A lot of people don't know how to save their money, so they don't be having no money to pay the, no the Marriott is accepting requests. Nah, do not come here. I am not world friends, family that's listening, that's watching. I am not the family yeah, member or the friend whose house you want to stop by at when you get kicked out, put out, your house burn. Yeah, don't I'm even. I'm coming to live with you. That, <laughs> don't even. Y'all. I don't care what Nelly says. Just call me stop from all that job. <laughs> I'll be right there. What Call me from the Red Cross Center. I'll I'll be there. I'm gonna bring you bad clothes. <laughs> but I'll be like, excuse me. <laughs> Move over, Nyla. And even Nyla, Nyla's so much like me. She would be like, Mom, like, when are they leaving? Oh, yes. First of all, I would that that would make her so angry inside. Like they keep talking to me. Yeah, and you know and my kids. Crying. Are she wants to say stuff like, "She's crying," and I'm like, "Who?" Like you're, <laughs> he's he's crying. I'm like, "Who? Your cousin?" Like you acting like you don't know who the person is. Like, yeah. give this them a bottle. That's why like nothing. She this yeah. child is crying. <laughs> I so just, it'd be horrible. Yeah, I don't know, but. The, Moody. Moody has frozen. And my own stuff. 
Broke it. You have froze for a, a little millisecond. I did. Yo, I don't I can't get it right. Every episode is something. Don't worry about that. I'm buying you an iPhone 18 for your birthday. Uh, and they only up to Christmas? they only up can to 12. I'm getting you a I'm getting you an 18. Can I can I get it for Christmas? No, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. For, I'm about to get it for you for just because gift. Oh, I like that. Well, just because <laughs> I'm gonna get you an iPad, matter of fact. I'm gonna get you a MacBook. Oh, so you won't come live here. (laughs) (laughs) I can't live in that MacBook. I'm coming still with the MacBook. Oh, so Moody, would you like? So I posted something earlier in the week, and when we went live last Friday, you we got like a good feedback. Yeah, we did. Everybody was good. They were commenting. They were um corresponding with us it was really really so and they are excited for us to go live again so are you down to go live after the show uh, maybe you know it doesn't have to know. be friday we maybe could do it saturday i think you know we're about to go on another high hate what is it called hiatus hiatus hiatus, Hi- hiatus. Yeah. Or whatever <laughs> the that episode i think we're gonna go live i think I this is episode like nine, that. guys. So you know, once we get to ten, our season's gonna end, and Moody and I will be taking a little break, but not to worry because we're gonna be back with season three. Yeah, so, and that gives y'all time to catch up on season one and two. Okay, okay. You gotta catch up. <laughs> Remember to go on the question L O Q U A C I O U S T V on YouTube. You want to subscribe? You want to like? You want to share? You want to comment? Um. Season 10, I mean, season two, episode 10, will be dropping next Friday. And after that episode, we will be going live. Is we'll that correct? We will be going live. And so then we're going to sure. talk about what we got coming in August for you guys. Which is a surprise for our Loquacious yeah, TV yeah. supporters. We got something really, yeah. really special for you guys because... You guys have really like stuck it out with us and and been supporting us and been holding us down and we love that energy. So we hope that you guys keep that momentum. Yeah, is yeah, like y'all just make our day so much better, especially when the numbers go up and when we get to talk to y'all live. And I just love no, it. Like, it's that when we see them in the street. Like, it's oh, when we see definitely. Them. I love seeing them in the street. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That makes us feel good, guys. It does. You know, we're doing something positive. And we want all positivity, man. All positivity coming our way. So you log on to YouTube, everybody. And you have to have a YouTube account in order to subscribe. So if you don't have a YouTube account, please make one. It's so easy. You can use your Google account. And it's free. And Facebook, and it's free. So you need an account so that you can subscribe. You put in our name. You subscribe. It comes directly to your phone every Friday at five o'clock. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, Chanel Loquacious TV Johnson. You can follow us on Instagram at Loquacious TV. Um, anything else, Moody, I'm missing? Make sure y'all watch. Make sure you watch and, and do, not, do and not stop here when you get kicked out. You cannot come and stay with me, okay? Then another. Me either. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> another awesome Beautiful. episode of Loquacious. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl Moody. And, and we, we love, love y'all for real. We love y'all. Thanks so for watching. Bye. Bye.